Nintendo World 224. And today I'm going to be showing my Nintendo GameCube collection. First off, we have the Nintendo Game Boy Player setup disc, which lets you play Game Boy Advance games on the Nintendo. Or game, Nintendo GameCube, rather. Um, here's what it looks like. Take it out of the cover. Open the case. There you go. It's got a little booklet and everything. Uh, next is... Well, first I'm going to show you the whole stack. Pretty big. First we have... Attack, uh, Attack and the Power Juju, the Great Juju Challenge. Actually a really good game. Two player. You can play like story co-op. It's really cool. Fun. Fun for the whole family. Um, hold on. Oh yeah, I don't know if that's going to make it better, but... You now we have Tac 2, The Staff of Dreams. That's also a really good game. I believe that's two player, but you can't do story co-op mode. So it's a really good game. Uh, next we have Saw Calibur 2. Amazing. I've never played Saw Calibur 1, but as you see, Link is on the front. Link from Legend of Zelda. See? And they made a new one for, I believe, the PlayStation 3. Uh, it has like see, Star Wars characters like Yoda and Darth Vader. Uh, next is Star Fox Assault. Right there. I haven't beaten the game because I just got it late. I just got it lately. But um, it's like the second Star Fox game for the Nintendo GameCube. It's actually really fun from what I've played. I've played like two times. So uh, next is Spider Man for the Nintendo GameCube. Uh, the game's pretty fun. It's not that challenging. I like how you can swing on the webs, but like the controls are kind of loose, but it's still fun. I got it used, but it works really good. Uh, then next we have Donkey Kong Jungle Beat for the Nintendo GameCube with uh, DK Bongos, and um, I kind of lost the Bongos, and but I've played it a little bit, and it's really fun. You can't play without Bongos, so yeah. But they made a new play control one for the Wii, so. Next is uh, Crash Tag Team Racing. I'm pretty sure there's Crash Tag Team Racing. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's Crash Tag Team Racing for the Nintendo um, Game Boy. But, uh, yeah. Just kind of like Mario Kart Double Dash. Probably not going to be able to finish this all in one part. But next, we have Animal Crossing for the Nintendo GameCube. It came with its own memory card. Um, that's somewhere in my room. This is the game that started it all, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There's one for the DS and the Wii. Next, we have Fairly Odd Parents Breaking Dough Rules. Um, kind of like a three. It's like a platforming game, 3D. You can see the graphics are okay. But you can't really see too good, but it's actually a really fun game. Kind of, yeah, it's kind of like a new Mario game. Um, next, I haven't really played this too much. Jeremy McGrath, McGrath, whatever. Uh, Super Cross World. It's just a dirt biking game made by Acclaim. I haven't played too much of that, but. Uh, next, we have Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. It's actually a really fun game. There's actually, like, you can pick from, like, Italy, French, Gryffindors, all that. It's actually fun. Um, show up dog, please. Next we have Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. Can't really explain it that much. It's pretty much like an Animal Crossing game, but you live on a farm and stuff. You have to take care of animals and all that good stuff. Harvest Moon, Wonderful Life. Uh, there's another one, I think, for the Game Boy. There's two of them. I uh, know. Uh, this one, this game is really good. Luigi's Mansion. Oh, I love this game to death. I've beat it like a million times. Maybe I'll do a playthrough of it, I don't know. But, um, I think it'd be really cool if they made a remake of this, but I doubt it's going to happen, because Luigi Saving Mario is like a one-time thing. It's not going to happen again, but it'd be really cool if it did. Uh, next we have Dave Mira BMX, Freestyle BMX 2, made by Acclaim, just like, um, Jeremy Okra. See, that kind of looks the same. Don't really play that game too much, I don't like BMX. My friends gave it to me. This game, Super Smash Bros. Melee, amazing, amazing, amazing game. This game, there was Super Smash Bros. 1 for the Nintendo 64, which I have.
But this game gives so much more, gives more characters, more selection of events, what to do. Um, they brought in trophies into the thing, like you can get trophies, like character trophies and all that. Um, so I'm actually surprised Bowser was in Super Smash Bros. 1. Bowser wasn't in it, he came in this one, he made his introduction, which is really cool. But, yeah. Next is Super Mario Strikers, my dog's barking. For the GameCube, there's Super Mario Strikers Charge for the Wii. Never played that, but I'm pretty. I, I've seen it. It's like this, but like more weapons and stuff. This game is actually a really good soccer game. I like it. It's a bestseller, as you see. I play a lot. Well, used to. I don't play it that much anymore. I always use Mario and Hammer Bros. Next is Lego Star Wars. Um, I like all the Lego games for like for any system. Like Lego Indiana Jones, that was fun. I like Lego games. I don't know why. They just amuse me. I like how like, when you die, you just break them into little pieces. Funny, but yeah, it's a really good game. I I would recommend it. Next we have Harry Potter: The Sorcerer's Stone. The very first Harry Potter in the series. Pretty much like the movie, you gotta go around doing stuff with the, with the uh, Sorcerer's Stone. And you gotta go fight Voldemort at the end. There was a computer game of that. I think this is a remake. Uh, next Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets. You see the uh, snake as, uh, in the shadow. Um, yeah, just like the movie, pretty much. And then there's a third one, Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban. Pretty much just like the movie. Um, there's all three of them. They're really good games. I've beat them all. They're pretty fun, actually. Next, we have Mario Kart Double Dash. Amazing, amazing game. Um, what many people don't know is that you can unlock... You think those are just all the characters. But, um, you can actually unlock Toad and Toadetta, or whatever. And you can unlock um, King Boo and Petey Piranha. You have to like get Rainbow Cup or Mirror Cup and like beat all that 150cc. Next we have um, Midway Arcade Treasure. Includes over 20 classic arcade games. So it's got Space Hunter, Rampage, Splat, Marble, whatever, um, Marble Madness, 720, just Joust, Paperboy, a bunch of those old games that many people know. Um, it's actually really good. I like it. I play that sometimes when I'm bored. But yeah, it's actually a pretty good game to have in your collection. Nintendo, Nintendo's Unite, Nick, Nicktoons Unite. What am I saying? Nick, Nicktoons Unite. Pretty good game. You could play co-op four players. I beat it. There was a sequel to that. It's like um, Nicktoons Escape from Volcano Mountain or something like that. Never played it, but pretty good game. Next. This game, amazing, amazing, amazing game. Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, once again, another bestseller. I've done a playthrough on it. There's nothing really I can say that I haven't uh, said in the playthrough. So, um, yeah, just if you want to see the game, you don't have it, just look at my playthrough. My very first playthrough I ever did, actually. To start them off. Next, we have Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. Um, I got everything in here. Normally, I wouldn't, but I do. Um... The case is actually holographic, as you see. <clears throat> it's actually a really good game. The storyline is actually pretty good. Pokemon get taken over by darkness. Sound familiar for something? I don't remember though. And yet. Yeah. Best game pretty much ever made. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. This is like the amazing. It's a remake of Dreamcast. Amazing, amazing game. Uh, you've seen my chat on it, everything. You know how good it is if you've played. If you haven't, trust me, that's a must play. If you find that anywhere and you don't have it, pick that up because it's really good. Uh, next we have Sonic DX Director's Cut. The first 3D Sonic game for GameCube. I'm pretty sure this is actually... No, this isn't, but for the GameCube, it's like first 3D Sonic that started it all. The graphics were okay for <clears throat> their era. Um... Yeah, once again, this is a must-play also. Very good game. You get to pick from Big the Cat, useless character, Amy, Tails, Sonic, Knuckles, Gamma, one of, and Gamma, one of Robotnik's uh, robots, who, like, is a refuge kind of thing. And there's a secret character at the end, which you should probably know about, but don't get the game, play it, beat it. Next, we have Mario Party 7. Really good game. Um, a good game to the Mario 
thing. I think there's like eight now. There's eight Mario Parties or nine. This is um a really good series th um game for this for um Mario Party. Um, there's a microphone adapter thing. Use the microphone to play a mini game. That's pretty fun actually. Next, MVP Baseball 2005. Not a big uh, baseball fan. I don't really play this that much. My friend gave it to me. I don't play it, so... I don't know, it's just pretty much like any other baseball game, I guess. NFL Blitz 2003. It's a really fun game. You just get to level people. It's pretty fun. Regular football game, except for like no rules, pretty much. Uh, next, Time Splitters 2. This is an amazing, amazing zombie game. You're going around the world, killing zombies. It already sounds fun. Um, this is a this is a good shoot 'em up game. If you don't have it, I recommend it. And I'll see you on the next part to finish the rest of my game. So, comrade, subscribe, peace, guys.